Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 223. I'm not reading this entire title because I think it's the longest title in the series. It's one of the longest chapter titles I've ever seen. I don't know what Gege is smoking. But it's gotta be something good. Let's hope it's something good because Gojo vs. Sukuna is starting this week and um... You know, uh, this is a fight that's been built up to for the last 220 chapters. So, uh, you know, let's see how it starts off. But as always, before we get into that, if you haven't already, definitely be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I'd like to try and hit at least 100 likes on this week's reaction. Now then, without any further ado, let's get right into the chapter, shall we? So, this sure... Oh, wait. It's quarter of one in the morning. This place sure takes me back. Shibuya. What was your sense of time like inside the prison now? The decisive battle in the uninhabited, demon-fested Shinjuku number one. Gege, fuck you. The one-on-one -on -one with Sukuna draws near, with Gojo on his way to Shibuya. Hmm, similar to how it feels when work gets hella busy. That contradictory feeling when a week passes by in the blink of an eye and yet you would never, ever want to do it again. That's how it felt. That's a great aura coming off you right now, Gojo. I get what you mean. Sounds terrible. What happened to all the people in B5? This is the epicenter of the Shibuya incident where the cursed spirits were released. Non-sorcerers all over Tokyo were less likely to survive the closer they were to Shibuya. We just got ground zero around here, don't we? However, thanks to the remnants of Gojo's cursed energy, the spirits never came near B5. Any side effects from Unlimited Void? None. All of them have been fully rehabilitated and returned to their normal lives. That's great! Uh, Gojo starts stretching. Well then, it's about time we get started. Utahime, Gramps, what are these two going to do? Utahime's got some, like, prayer beads around her wrists, and, uh... Gakuganji has like a, a traditional, I don't think that's a biwa, is it? Is that a biwa? It's some traditional Japanese instrument. So these these two are gonna help you. Is it time to finally find out what the fuck Urahime's curse technique is? Lord Sakuna. The battle was set for today, the 24th. However, as far as the time and location goes, we don't need to have that stuff set in advance. It's gonna happen everywhere! You're the strongest characters! Hmm? I already know. Understood. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh! Now this is good contrast. When Sukuna came to Sendai, it was this terrible miasma. Like, hanging down over the horizon. Now... Gojo's cursed energy is like the sun gleaming over the silhouette of the horizon. That's good. I was the one who killed Yaga. I see. Why? Why what? Why do none of you curse me for this? No particular reason. I have a pretty good understanding of who you are from the principle. Oh yeah! There were some people thinking like, man, Gojo's just hanging out with this dude after he killed Yaga? That's fascinating. Good we're getting a flashback for that. So with the way Gege is, we weren't going to spend a bunch of time on what was going on in between. Instead, what we're going to get is just shit's going to happen, and we're going to get flashbacks either right before or during it. Cool. You're the ultimate example of a man just following orders. That's also why I know I can trust you to some extent. Anyway, the only reason the upper brass were even able to order his death was because I got myself sealed up. So I'm in no mood to be pointing fingers. You know, that's fair. Did the principal have any last words to pass on? Like about Panda, for example? He told me that Cursed Corpse was that- He told me that Cursed Corpse was not some random mutant. There's a way to replicate the process. Hmm. <laughs> So old dogs can sometimes learn new tricks. What do you mean? Well, you haven't told anybody that juicy piece of info, have you? The secret behind Panda would be ranked as special grade information. For the old you, it would have been unthinkable to not report it to the higher-ups. 
You've changed, haven't you, Gramps? Maybe if you were at the head of HQ, things would be a bit better. Dude, everyone at the head of HQ is fucking just... Oh, Gojo, did you do that? <laughs> I'm gonna assume you did that. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, you know, if you were there, maybe you could have convinced them to see things differently, but I just washed all of them, you know? So we're getting we're getting a short montage of, like, all the shit Goji has been doing. Why did you choose to bring me? If it's just a place, if it's just a place of barrier, there are many more proficient candidates. You seriously don't know? You're the man I trust the most. That's the only reason I need. Hell yeah. So... Gakuganji strums the strings, and Ijichi is there placing down a barrier. That's a really cool-looking barrier activation as Gojo's standing there looking like he's getting ready to fight. They're back-to-back. -back. I'm just a guy who ran away. No, I didn't even have the courage to do that myself. Somebody else allowed me to run. Even then, the strongest man in the world tells me that he trusts me. There's no way I could let him down. I will answer his trust even if it kills me. So as he's casting that, Udahime pops in. Udahime's curse technique, here it is. Solo, solo, prohibition zone. Any sorcerers of her choosing, including Udahime herself, will have their cursed energy reserve and output temporarily enhanced as long as they remain in range. Oh, well, so that's why she had to stay at the back. It's, it's a support technique. That's cool, we always need more of those. The mastery of Jujutsu can be said to be the mastery of subtraction. The skill of a sorcerer can be judged on their ability to omit prerequisites like hand signs or incantations in order to fully activate their technique. However, in this circumstance, Utahime omitted nothing. Incantations, hand signs, dances, instruments. By using a ritual to channel her cursed technique, she was able to achieve 120% of its normal effect. So that's what we're doing to compensate for Sakuna's buff. We're gonna stack every single support power onto Gojo. That's a really good idea. That's such a good idea. Nine points. The strongest sorcerer in history versus the strongest sorcerer today. Which of these two men will approach the fight as the challenger? It will all be decided by the first decisive strike. Oh, who is the challenger? Who is it? Polarized light. Crow and Shomyo chant. The gap between within and without. Like Utahime, Gojo does not skip even a single step in bringing out his technique. 200% output. Hollow technique purple. Oh, wait! Oh my god, that's what it is. It's fucking keto, where you can enhance it with a full incantation, but if you don't, you can just use it if you're really cracked. Like, you can just use it without the incantation if you're fucking Aizen or something. But if you're able to do it at max without the incantations, adding it all in just, just boosts it. So, <coughs> are we about to see the most powerful attack in the series here? Sukuna probably detects it's coming. He sticks his hands out. Oh my fucking god. Just a line of city blocks is disappearing into this black void. And it stops. This building shatters and collapses. Thanks to Ijichi's barrier, Sukuna misread Gojo's opening move. Although he was aware of Gojo's presence, he was not able to sense the immense amount of cursed energy that was output until the attack was right in front of him. So he steps out, his Hayori is destroyed, the strongest sorcerer in history versus the strongest sorcerer today. So Sukuna lost at least one hand. He's healing it right now, I assume, and the other one's smoking, so uh, maybe that one got injured too. So first blood is drawn on Sakuna. Seems you've got the wrong idea here, so let me just set things straight. You're the challenger here.
You damn brat. The strongest trickster lands a preemptive strike. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh. <sighs> you see, this is... Well, actually, this is a 10-minute reaction. In theory, this feels like a short chapter, but it was so good. You know, this is the first move of the fight, and it's a whole chapter, and I'm really fucking excited for it. I'm so excited. God. It's safe to assume this will be the best fight, right? You know, like, that's a, that's a safe assumption to make, right? I assume it is, because that's the assumption I'm going to make. Anywho, with that, that's all I've got for this week's reaction. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Jujutsu Kaisen chapter reactions and reviews every week that we get a new chapter. If you enjoy discussing Jujutsu Kaisen with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.